God, everything really does have so much to do with everything, you know? Oh, it really does. Even years ago, uh, I made this in 2000 or 99, 20 years ago, 19, 18 years ago. And even my remotes look the same. Bird of Paradise, Artie Lang, Artie Lang. And somehow, that has to do with what I'm working on now. X to the X. So, <clears throat> Separating this out, now I just, um, I color coded it, so to speak. So we have our uh, even denominator, odd numerator, even numerator, even numerators. I mean, essentially, our even numerators, we can all divide by 2, in which case, because we're dealing with tenths, when we divide by 2, we're dealing with fifths. So when we have our odd numerators over fifths, we get negative numbers. And when we have our even numerators divided by fifths, we have, let's see, odd numerators divided by fifths. We have negative y's. Negative y's. Y's? Y, apostrophe S. Y's, W-I-S-E. And when we have uh, even numerators over fifths, we have positive y's, y apostrophe s, or just ys, or wisc. But the way these all break out, and that's even num numerators, odd numerators, so we're constantly going back and forth between our and then this is like so this is negative the yellows are negative y's and then the circled greens are negative y's while the line the the line greens are positive y's but all the greens are associated with an i and all the yellows and pinks are not associated with an I. They're just on the x-axis. So, whereas before, I'd use this crude drawing for my xy plane. This is my xy plane where I've also incorporated these numbers, whereas before it was only these numbers. And what a strange thing. And if I plug it into my calculator, oh boy, can I find it now? Oh, found it. So the white line and the white dots are what you get. So if I plug it into my calculator, I get this white line which is this line and I get these dots which are these dots Boom. 
This star is this star. This star is this star. Which is where my green and pink touch and where my green and yellow touch. Which is, you know, the whole numbers. So that's where it piece, uh, pierces that plane. So you know, the rest of the screen is reaching out into the eye realm, which isn't represented here because it's on the XY axis. But it's represented elsewhere in my other planes. So this is my XI plane. This is my YI plane. And this is my YX plane. And uh, I'm a little dyslexic, so like I put my eye over here where you might suspect negative eye, and I put my negative eye over here where you might suspect eye, and I might have done that backwards um, because, like, I'm a little bit dyslexic about these types of things. But all these images represent the same thing. And I'm just, oh God, there's so many different things I want to do with this. Like, there's so many different things I want to do with this with sound. And, like, I've made other Hertz videos, so I thought about converting this into a Hertz video. Um, but it doesn't have the resolution I'd like by the actual points I've made. Like, I've simulated a lot of these curves. Um, <clears throat> you know, and from my previous pictures, like, I rounded out this curve quite a bit. But... <clears throat> And then it was like, well, how do I represent the negative X? How do I represent the, the I and the negative I? And then I thought, well, with I, like, my negative eyes could be going backwards in time, while my positive eyes could be going forwards in time. So that, uh-oh, I'm about to run out of time. That's it.